Breaking news today, I'm Washington, D.C. and Baltimore, that the Francis Scott Key Bay Bridge has collapsed after a cargo ship smashed into it. Tragedy. Unforeseen tragedy in the early morning hours. How does a journalist handle this? How does the broadcaster handle it when you're on camera, you're on microphone, and you get the news that something like this just happened? It's not the first time it's happened. In 2007, the I-35 bridge in Minneapolis collapsed. We've had the Challenger shuttle blow up. We've had many different tragedies, but how do you handle it when you're the person that's on point on camera? Right now, the events are unfolding in real time. Broadcasters are getting information in their earpiece. They're sending people out to go get information, and it's coming fast and furious. If you're the main anchor, if you're the main media communicator, you need to maintain your cool. You need to bring a sense of hope and confidence in a tragic situation. Don't be afraid to show your emotions, but don't go too far with the emotions. You need to be the center of calm in the middle of chaos, confusion, and deep pain. One of the things the broadcaster can do is just the facts. I encourage, if you're in that position, stay with the facts. You're not going to theory. Do not go into speculation. Do not suggest things that are not backed up in fact. Base everything you share in this moment as fact, or we do not know, but we'll get you the information we can. This will help navigate all the noise and all the confusion. This will also show your viewers, your listeners, I can trust you. I know you're not going to give me false information. And that's huge. One of the things that I've always prided myself and I encourage you to do as a broadcaster is be a truth teller. Stay in the lane of telling the truth. There's a place for laughter and joking and everything else. But in these moments of tragedy, you are the voice of reason very often, or you're the first line of communication before other things come in. We have a responsibility as communicators and broadcasters to stay within the facts.